Hello everybody, Ian Robson here, welcome to another tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to use course play to use the green transport mode. So here I am, I'm in my JCB Fast Track, so I'm going to go ahead and choose my green transport mode right now. So what I want to do with my green transport mode is I want to sell the green from my home base to, let's say, the Goldcrest Pacific Green. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start recording my course right underneath. So you want to make sure that your trailer is underneath the spout itself. So I'm going to go ahead and start recording the course there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drive my tractor over to the Goldcrest uh, Pacific Grain, and that is where I'm going to sell the grain. So I'm just going to drive there. That's all I'm going to do. One thing to keep in mind is uh, when you are driving, try and stay on the right side of the road because if you have multiple tractors doing the same thing, it can make your life difficult if you don't stay on the right side of the road. So keep that in mind. Anyway, it's going to drive all the way over to the grain area, and I'll be back in a second. All right, so here I'm coming up to the uh, to the grain cell point here. And what you want to do, what you want to make sure you do is drive carefully because this is what they're going to use every single time. So I'm going to slow down here. I'm going to adjust and get right into the right position here, and then I'm going to drive over that location right there, and then I'm going to continue. So that will recognize that as a point where it needs to sell the grain. So. Now I've gone to the place where I want to sell the grain. Now I'm going to head back to the main farm and we'll complete the course. See you in a sec. All right, so here I am coming back to the main farm here and we're coming back to the starting point of our course. And as you can see, we're still dropping our little eggs. Well, they're not eggs anymore, but they're still dropping our waypoints so we know where we're going. So you want to make sure you line up your trailer where, where your tractor is with the very last point as straight as possible just to make course plays life a little bit easier, okay? Right click to bring up your cursor once again. You wanna hit the stop sign right there. And now that's the course complete. So in this case, let's say we wanna sell grain. We wanna start it at the first waypoint and then go from there. So we're gonna go ahead. If you wanna save the course, you can save it as sell grain, gold crest, something, whatever you wanna save it as. So I'm gonna start at the first waypoint and I want to sell wheat and you can go ahead and sell whatever you like by just selecting the left and right here and you can also use your uh, scroll wheel on your mouse so I want to sell wheat in this context so let's go ahead and drive the course so there it goes now the JCB is going to go underneath there it's gonna get filled up as much as possible now in this case this trailer probably won't fill up completely and what will happen is it'll probably give us a little notification saying uh, farm silo is empty there you go it's waiting for more so in this case I don't want it to wait for more I want it to sell what I have right now I'm gonna go ahead and set drive now now if it were able to fill up it would just fill up and then it would continue on so let's go ahead and set drive now so now he's gonna drive to the first waypoint which is that one right there and then the second one and then he's gonna put the cover on oh maybe he won't put the cover on well he used to do that but maybe he won't anymore, obviously. So covers are automatic in this context. So you can set it to manual automatic. So that should have covered it, but it didn't in this context, but that's fine. And it's going to continue on the course that I drove. As you can see, there you go. And you can mess around with the settings. I believe you can set the, uh, where is it here? Uh, no, here it is, sorry. You can set it up for, in this little area right here, you can set up to the maximum uh, street speed. Uh, to whatever you like so in this case I had the JCB so it, the maximum speed is 70 which is actually higher than it used to be so that's a good little note so of course if you want to bring up the menu in case you don't know how to do that it's just right click with your mouse so the right mouse button on your mouse will bring that menu up all right so there you go so I can actually let me just show you what will happen so one of the nice little features uh, now is that with course play I can just sit over here we're gonna wait for that trailer that tr that tractor to come over here and sell the grain one second alright so here comes the JCB right here as you can see it's coming down the lane I'm not in the I'm not in the tractor obviously and it's coming over here it's gonna follow the same path now what will happen is in the tractor it should say uh, if I bring this up it'll say um, trigger reached which of course it doesn't there it goes tip trigger reached and it recognizes that this right here is a tip trigger and it's going to go ahead and sell the grain automatically. So that's not me doing that. And what's going to happen is it's going to finish selling the grain and then it's going to go over to where it was before. So in this case, it's going back to the main farm. That's where it's going to go. So it's the sell grain uh, mode versus the grain transport mode. So that's how you sell grain using the grain transport mode. Let me just demonstrate that it will go back to the main farm now and I'll show you that in a moment. So here's the tractor coming back to the main farm with course play. 
So it's following the same path I followed. Now keep in mind, so now that we have, there's a faster speed, you have to control your speed a little bit, because if you take a crazy turn, the course play driver is going to take a crazy turn as well. So keep that in mind, all right? Don't need that up here. So what will happen is because our silo is empty, it will go to the trigger point, which is right there, as you can see, and it will sit there and it'll tell us that it doesn't have, we don't have any more grain left in this context. So it's going to go there, it's going to hop underneath there, and it's going to say it's empty, waiting for more. So in this case, it's not going to do anything else because there's no more grain left. So that is how you use the grain transport mode for course play. I hope you enjoyed this course play tutorial. My name is Ian Robson. and if you like what you saw, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for some more tutorial action. Catch you guys later.